This is a shotgun shell. Is a type of rimmed, cylindrical cartridges used specifically in shotguns, and is typically loaded with numerous small, pellet-like spherical subprojectiles called shot or pellets. Early shotgun shells used brass cases. Starting in the late 1870s, paper hulls began replacing brass hulls. Paper hulls remained popular for nearly a century, until the early 1960s. Starting in the early 1960s, plastic hulls started replacing paper hulls for the majority of shotgun shells and by the 1980s, plastic hulls had become universally adopted. The shell has six parts. The primer, the brass head, the shell, the gunpowder, the wad, the pellets or a slug. This is a side view of the shell. Now let's see how it works is all starts from the primer. The primer has a cup, the mixture, a foil and the anvil. The mixture contains lead hypophosphite, lead nitrate and glass. When the hammer hits the primer, it hits with enough force to compact the primer and the mixture inside. There will be a lot of rubbing and friction between the particles. Microscopically, the sharp edges of some of the ingredients rub against each other creating friction and localize high temperature. The glass inside is cheap and very hard and it makes a lot of friction which is very good for this type of mixture. This sets off the primer and subsequently sets off the gunpowder inside the shell. The explosion pushes everything out of the shell and the shell can be used again. Let's look in a gun. The shell is fed on the barrel. The hammer hits the primer and everything goes through the barrel and the shell drops down. Some facts about the shells. A shotgun shell's size is usually measured in gauge. The most common size of shotgun shell is the 12 gauge. A shotgun shell can be reused 5 to 6 times. Besides lead shot and slugs which are designed to be lethal, there are special less lethal types of shotgun. These can be loaded with plastic or rubber shot, rubber slugs, bean bags, or salt. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos until next time, stay curious.